What's going on everybody? Gemini Jets 1272 here bringing you guys finally a long awaited SFO airport update. It's been about uh, probably <clears throat> seven months, six, seven months since I've done this airport. I don't know that for exact, so don't like correct me on it because I'm just guessing. But it's been a while, and this was requested by many people, including Heroes Aviation and, and I think a few others. Um, so shout out to all of them, but I'll know for sure that it was Heroes Aviation, so I'll put his link to his channel. In the description and you guys can go down and subscribe to him that'd be great <clears throat> and guys before we get started um if you guys do not know this is on the new mat and there's a dead spider on it great oh gosh something here yeah okay there we go. we're good okay so this is on the new mat <clears throat> and um also before we get started i want to thank you guys so much um we recently hit or we hit 281 subscribers today we gained gained th three subscribers today, which is really good for me because I usually do not gain that much. I mean, it probably took me three months to get, or like a month to get three subscribers last month because I hadn't been uploading that much. But thank you for everyone who's new to the channel and who has subscribed. And if this is the first video you've seen from me, please do hit that subscribe button. Um, really helps me out a bunch. Um, <clears throat> I have a special idea for a 300 subscriber video, but I won't tell you guys that until we get there. And also in this airport update, there's one new model. If you guys do know, follow my channel and did see my, I think it was my last video, you guys know what it is, but if not, I'll let you guys know when we get to it, and we'll get started because this is going to be a little bit, or it won't be a lot, but it's going to take a while because there's obviously a lot of aircraft here. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first off, <coughs> excuse me, also I have a really bad cough right now, so <coughs> that was, I don't know why I coughed then, but um, yeah, so anyway, let's get started. Here we have an American A319, and this guy is... To, just ready to board runway 27 for his flight to Phoenix Sky Harbor. Behind him, we have an American Airlines 737-800 in the TWA Retro. <coughs> Excuse me. And he'll be making his way up to Chicago O'Hare. Behind him, we have a Delta Airlines, McDonnell Douglas MD-90. He'll be making his way out to Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport. Beside him, we have an, an American Eagle Embraer Air J-170 in the sky. We'll be heading out to Los Angeles, and that is the only American Eagle destination from SFO. I find that I found that quite weird. Like I thought they'd fly to like O'Hare or like Dallas or something, but uh, apparently not. Here we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700, and this guy just started to pull into the gate after one of these two 737s leave, <clears throat> and he just came in from San Diego. Behind him, we have an Alaska Airlines 737-800. This guy's taxiing to runway 27 for a departure to Portland, Oregon. Just deboarding the runway is an American Airlines Airbus A319. And this guy just came in from Dallas, Fort Worth. I'll take care of these guys over here. Here, taxiing um, to runway 27. Actually, no, 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 excuse me. Taxiing to the gate is a Hawaiian Airlines A330-300. And this guy just came in from Honolulu. <clears throat> then we're going to start off with the regional jets. Here we have a United Express Embraer ERJ-145, and this guy will be pushing out, will be pushing back, excuse me, after the A330 moves out of the way, and he'll be making his way up to my home airport of Omaha, Nebraska. In front of him, we have an Alaska CRJ-700 operated by SkyWest. This guy just came in about two minutes ago from Portland, Oregon, and just pulled in the gate. And then in front of them, we have a Delta Airlines, or Delta Connection, I guess, Embraer ERJ-170. Which is boarding up for Salt Lake City. <clears throat> Here's taxing to the Southwest Gates is a Southwest Airlines 737 800 in the new colors. And he's gonna be making his, uh, yeah, no. He's taxing to the gate, excuse me. And he, he just came in from Atlanta. So, right after the terminal, we're Terminal 1, which houses United, Southwest Frontier, American, Delta, Alaska, and Joe Blue. Um, we start off with the United Airlines. Airbus A320, and this guy will be heading out to Denver, Colorado. He's getting <clears throat> the luggage on board, as you can see. Next up, we have a Delta, not Delta, what am I saying? United, Airbus A320, the Stars and Bars Retro Livery, and this guy just literally came in from New Orleans. Beside him, we have a United 737 HD, with split scimitars. He's getting fueled on the other side, and will be heading out to Atlanta. <clears throat> Next to him, we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700, just getting ready to push back after these few aircraft leave. 
And he will be heading out to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Here we have a salvage run, 737-300 in the Arizona. One line free, he's getting fueled for his flight to Dallas Load Field, and he'll be pushing back in about, probably about 20 minutes or so. Beside <clears throat> him, we have Frontier Airbus A321 in out of the Owl, and this guy, he's getting luggage on board on the other side, and he'll be making his way out to Cincinnati, Ohio. Mm. Behind him, we have an American Airlines Embraer ERJ-190, and he'll be making his way down to Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles, sorry. Um, here we have a Delta Airlines 737-900 in the... This is another one, right? Yeah. In the CE Wallman Library, he'll be making his way up to... Oh, no, excuse me. He just came in <clears throat> from Detroit. We're going to head over to the other side of the airport. I haven't done this for a while, really. I had to walk around because I haven't done... I haven't had a big map. Alright. Starting off, we have a Frontier Airlines Airbus A321 in Courtney the Cougar, and he is in line for departure to... Atlanta. Uh, here we have a American Airlines 767-300ER, just about ready to push back from Miami. Let's see where we go. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what point I gotta go next. Oh well. Um, we'll just do this American. 737-800 in the new colors, or not new colors, in the current colors, and he'll be heading out to Philadelphia. In front of him, we have a JetBlue Airways over 621 in the Prism Tail, and he'll be making his way out to Fort Lauderdale. <clears throat> Here we have an Alaska 737-700, taxing to uh, for a departure to uh, Portland, Oregon. We have a Delta 321 getting clean on the other side, and he'll be making his way, <clears throat> excuse me, out to Atlanta. Beside him, just ready to get pushed back, the jetway has just been removed. It's a Delta Airlines Airbus A330-200, which will be heading out to Honolulu, Hawaii, and that is seasonal service, I believe. Here we have an Alaska 737-800 in the current library with split scimitars, and he'll be making his way out to Palm Springs, California. He's just ready to get pushed back. He has a tug right there, just waiting for the tow bar. I'm going to this guy right here. <clears throat> here we have a Delta 717. <clears throat> He'll be heading out to Salt Lake City. In front of him, taxiing to the runway is a Delta 737-800. He'll be heading out to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Using the air stairs is a JetBlue Airways Airbus A320 in the Vets in Blue Library. Just getting final passengers on board for Long Beach, California. Now we're going to move over to the international section, I guess you could call it. And here we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700 taxing to overnight parking. And then um, he'll be heading out to Chicago Midway tomorrow morning. Now here's the new model, guys. If you guys do not know, it's Frontier Airlines Airbus A320 in Griswold the Bear. I, I did not have this plane when I like er, like designed this airport and when I put him in. So I just kind of threw him in here, but he's just pulling into the gate for overnight Um Hard stand, and he'll be heading out to Denver, Colorado tomorrow morning. Here we have a FedEx MB 1030, just pulled into the gate from Memphis, Tennessee. Resting in the hangar is a United Airlines Airbus A319, and uh, he's just getting routine maintenance done. Let's see, what do I do next? Grab my paper. We have a JetBlue Airways. Number 20 in the Boston Red Sox colors. He's getting passengers on board for Las Vegas. Beside him, we have an Alaska 737-900 in the split scimitars in the 100-year strong library. <clears throat> I, believe, I believe that's what it's called. He'll be heading out to Seattle in about 15, actually no, probably about 30 minutes. Here we have an Abelars A321 just tacked into his gate after coming in from Guadalupe, or no, excuse me, coming in from Mexico City. Beside him, we have a United 77-300, taxing for, the to, for departure to Cancun, Mexico. <clears throat> Here we have a United 
Seven six seven there's three hundred yards just pushing back. Four Paris Charles de Gaulle. Beside him we have a list. You got seven thirty seven <clears throat> dash eight dash eight hundred. Just pulled into the kind of gate, but I guess parking area from Vancouver, and then that is seasonal service. So we have an Air China seven forty seven dash four hundred being catered for his flight out to Beijing. Here we have an Etihad trip seven dash three hundred yards being catered for Abu Dhabi. Qantas seven forty seven dash four hundred started to get pushed back for Sydney, and just in the pushback motion is a Swiss Airways Airbus A three thirty dash two hundred pushing back for Zurich Switzerland. Switzerland, excuse me. Here we have a KLM A three thirty dash three hundred getting cargo loaded up for Amsterdam Skibble. We have an Emirates triple seven dash two hundred LR just started to get pushed back for Dubai International, and beside him we have Lufthansa. And a 40 300 getting, getting cargo on board for Munich, Germany because the A380 operates the Frankfurt route. <clears throat> Alright, guys, so that's going to be it for this airport update. I actually kept it not terribly long. Thank goodness because my phone's about to die. So, guys, um, that's going to be it for this airport update. Hope you guys did go on to enjoy it. Please do remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Gemini1272. And I'll see you guys in the next video.